So in this last lesson on hypotheses testing, we're just going to look at some mixed practice, so picking year distribution and picking the correct hypothesis test for the right scenario. Um, but in this first example, we're just going to look at um, this case. So we've dealt with um, when a Poisson distribution can be used to approximate a binomial. It's possible that that scenario could arise in hypotheses testing. So um, we have here a um, essentially a binomial hypotheses test. We've got our probability value of 0 of 4%, so p-value of 0.04. Um, we have um, 250 people, so that's our n-value. Found that 17 of these employees were absent, so that's our test statistic. Um, and it says a test at the 5% level, whether or not the proportion of employees was larger than for the whole city. So we've got our alternative as a greater than. Okay, so there's our binomial. Notice we've got quite a big value of n and a small value of p. Okay, and because the question says specifically use a Poisson approximation, um, then we have to do it that way. Okay, so remember uh, for a large n and small p, um, the binomial distribution can be approximated to uh, a Poisson with a lambda value that's equal to n times p. So we get a Poisson distribution with a lambda value of 10. And we can just now work out our probability of our evidence or worse. So probability of x being greater than or equal to 17. We can do that using a Poisson rather than using a binomial um, because we were told to do so. And then conclude our test or compare with our significance level and conclude our test in the usual way. Okay, so it's just, it could be done with a binomial because your calculator would do that. But for the probability calculation, it wants us to um, use the Poisson approximation to do it. Okay, the rest of the, um, the whole procedure of the hypothesis test is unaffected. So that's it. So it's just a case now of practicing a good mixture of hypotheses testing um, and making sure that you feel um, confident with each of the different tests that we've met.